Aussie R1 here, taking the new R1 for a spin. See how she goes. Mirrors are nice. Man, we need to change modes. It's a little bit like the um, the BMW with its like lack of feedback. It does have a quick shift up, which is nice. But you do feel like you're definitely like on, on top of this thing compared to, I guess, the, mostly the Ducati, eh? Oh, what the fuck? That traffic stopped up there. Ugh. Come back with like a hundred screws in the tires. Man, what the fuck? You have to go somewhere else, eh? Well, it is very chuckable. But man, why I'm first? I'm in first and going slow is hard because like the throttle's like very on and off. Like going slower than this is hard. Like Yeah, like the between zero and some throttle. I like the dash, it's very pretty. Makes like no noise, eh? Man, it's like impossible to like really try this thing because we're in the fucking shitty suburbia. Because it like really doesn't pick up until you go on 60. Before there, it's just like a 600. <laughs> Do you miss being able to go off road? <laughs> so noisy, these people are like trying to be all nice. Okay, hey guys, here's the new R1. I'm actually not that impressed so far, but we've already done like such a little shitty ride. The stuff's kind of cool, like it shows you how hard you're braking in there. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, the mirrors can fold in for filtrage. There's like a fair bit of gap of nothing, like 600-ish, when you are like going off the road, off the mark. Try it here. You know, there's a corner. Oh. I guess it does get going, and once you're up the revs, it's nice. I wouldn't like to commute on this, eh? Yeah, it's very... Holy shit, that guy is under a massive red light. <laughs> yeah, it's fully, like, trying to go slow. It could be because it's still getting worn in. could be because I'm in some crazy mode. Mode A, B, C, D. Hang on, no, yeah, the power changes. Let's go power off four. <laughs> Fucking makes like no difference. <laughs> I'm in power mode D now, whatever that means. But it says power four, TCS seven, I don't know, and SCS <laughs> three. I'm guessing some kind of limiting thing. But when you go C, the power goes down. So power's at four on mode D, so I'm guessing that's as good as it gets, maybe? Oh. I wonder if it's limited because it's like still got no Ks. Because I'm I'm like pinning it on this thing and it's doing nothing. Here, eh? So I'm in we go second gear and 100 percent throttle. That's 100%. Oh, you can't change modes when you're riding. See, even turning it around, it's pretty scary, eh? I think so, I'm pretty sure something's up. Fuck it, an R1 should have a shitload more power than that. I reckon they've put something bad on it. Maybe stop and try one of the other ones. See, the LED lights look awesome, but I still hate the whole one headlock. Turn sharper, man. Turn sharper. <laughs> it's fucking hard, eh? Oh. Huh? Yeah, you reckon? Alright, let's swap. But you have to give me more thoughts on it so far. What? As a bike itself, not compared to the Ducati 899 or the BMW S1000RR, which we've ridden recently. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, wait, go, go real slow, let's go down, no one's behind us, go down to like 10 k's an hour, like in first and going through traffic kind of thing, and just try to keep it at like, let's say, 15 k's an hour, oh! <laughs> yeah, 
Oh, when you like full lock this thing to turn, the tank gets in the way. And it's like the pretty bullshit part of the tank. Yeah, yeah, to go really slow, you have to, like, they go idling in first gear. If you go below, oh, that was fine to say. It's like 18 k's now, I can't go slower. I was just gonna be like, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, and then you touch the throttle and it's like, kick, <laughs> Oh, it does move. The brakes are all right. Okay, it's not worth it for the nice dash. I thought the nice dash would sell it to me, but usability for going to work. Everyone will comment on this going, I fucking ride one to work. Fucking harm the fuck up. Like, well, no. Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it does fucking move, eh? Fucking Christ. Yeah, so it must have been that mode I was in was in like retard mode or something. Fucking rough. There's my rough test. Yes, it's rough. This was rough as my R1. Wanna drag? Okay, you go. <laughs> Fucking hell. Woo! Fucking earth, man. It really moves. Which is nice. But you sacrifice. Yeah, you sacrifice so much for the top. The top end. Yeah, I'm going to go back before I like bin it. I'm not as comfortable using the quick shifter on this either, I don't know why. It's like I've, I've gone back into normal R1 riding mode or something. But yeah, I think cruising along it, like this kind of stuff, if you're lane splitting below 20 k's an hour, you'll end up fucking chucking it into a car, eh? Because it's like, yes, that's, I'm moving the stroll by like literally not even a millimeter and it's going from idling to fucking get the fuck off, which is really annoying. Oh, well, there you have it, guys. Disappointing review from Wazzy R1 on the new R1. I think I'm going to keep mine for some time. Yeah, don't mind me. Thanks for watching, guys.